Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on this particular figure. And I've been waiting for NECA to do something along the lines of the creature from the Black Lagoon for a very, very long time. So I finally heard that they actually started to release this. And when it was released, I actually put it on pre-order. And I just got it in about two days ago. And we're going to touch base on it by looking at the box art and then we're going to get into the actual figure as well as the accessories, so stick around, I will be right back. Okay, we are back, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the box art, and then I'm going to somehow managed to pull it out of its box because sometimes it's hard to pull these things out because I got them wrapped up with wires and stuff like that and you got to snip 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 so let's just get into the box art for now okay now that is a very cool looking shot of the creature now now the creature from the Black Lagoon the movie in itself came out in 1954 for all you Godzilla fans it came out the same year 1954 is the very first Godzilla film Okay. And he also made two other movies based on this. And the actual creature design was kind of lacking towards, uh, I think they were trying to save budgets. Uh, the second design wasn't as detailed as the first one. And in the third movie, they literally had him wearing like a jacket and a shirt because he's more humanized. And just his face. So they saved themselves some money doing that. And it wasn't as detailed as uh, the very first movie in itself. Okay, here's the side of the box. Alright. Here's the back of the box. It's got some very cool looking scenes right here. Alright. Now if you see any glare, it's because of the uh, lumens light that I got. I need to light this up. There's many different variations of the uh, creature here. Or the guild man. The creature from Okay, the side of the box. The top of the box. It's very cool color schemes and everything on this box. I'm going to keep the box. Because this is like a very rare thing that they put out. Because like I said, I've been waiting for a very long time for this thing to come out. And they finally did something. And rumor has it they really did a good job. So we're going to actually check it out. And... I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So, okay, that's what the side of the pa side panel looks like. Inside the box, as you can see, he's still in the box. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut this down and pull it out of the box, and we're going to look at the creature. Okay. Again, I will be right back. Okay, we are back, and it took a little bit of time to get it out of its box, but I managed. It does come with some accessories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that on the stand, and we'll pull the camera back, and we're going to look at the accessories here. It does come with six pairs of hands, okay? And I'm thinking, you know, if you don't look at it properly, they're not feet. I don't, there's no replacement feet for them. Uh, though they look, you know, rather similar in some fashions. But these are, in fact, six different pairs of hands with different positions on them. So let's go ahead and pull this baby back. And I'm going to show you the different hands one by one, okay? And that's what that looks like right there. Alright, put that one down, whoop, whoop. put that back right there, okay, sorry about the camera bump there, now you'll notice this hand here is kind of like scrunched, like I said the different hand positions, okay, the detail on this thing is amazing, okay, cool, and this one's like wide open, Pretty cool. Another hand that's kind of scrunched. It's kind of like cupped. So you can put different hands on the gill, gill man. Right, I'm going to keep the originals on there and just throw it up on the stand. I might change out the head once we take a really close look at the heads here. 
see if I want to switch them out or not. All right, another wide one. Where are we next? There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back. And I got to say something about my camera. It does have horrible batteries. They don't last very long. So I had to turn around and plug it in. Uh, the battery always seems to go out at the wrong time, especially when you're in the middle of a video. That's just simply all kinds of wrong, in my opinion. They need to last longer than just an hour, in my opinion, but it is what it is. And I, I got a backup battery, but half the times it's just as easy to plug it in, especially when I'm sitting here just doing videos. I'm not outside or anything. That's a different ball game. But anyway, let's get back into this. Okay, that's what that one looks like. These have very cool looking distinctive colors and details to them. Pretty impressive looking to say the least. Okay, we got one more hand. And then we're going to get into the heads. So if you were ever to purchase this and you're a big creature from the Black Lagoon fan, you're not going to be disappointed because I, I like what I'm seeing so far. Let's get into the heads now, okay? Okay. Sorry about that. I get the lighting perfect on this thing. Oh, it's kind of hard to grab these things. Okay. Now, I actually do have a Trick or Treat Studios version of the creature from the Black Lagoon, the mask itself. And it's in the bedroom. Okay. But anyway, I've been waiting for this thing for a very long time. Now that's the open mouth. Now you'll notice that the lips on all of these uh, masks, or I'm uh, I mean not masks, uh, the actual heads for the NECA figure, are painted red, because technically that's based on the, uh, the poster art and stuff. So yeah, that's what it is. See? It's cool. And this other head, it's more of a closed mouth, a more familiar look. If you've ever seen the movie, as you can see. Alright. Oh, it's kind of hard to grab these things. Alright. Again, you can switch them out. Alright. So, for me, I think this one is the one that's going to be on the actual creature because I like the open mouth version of it. So now we're going to look at the figure in itself here, okay? Move my six hands. <laughs> i shut that off. And bring Mr. Creature over. Alright, now let's get into this guy. Alright. This one's a closed mouth version. The eyes are very distinctive too. They did a really good job on the uh, the actual looks of this. A lot of times when you get these toys and stuff like that, they're not exactly movie accurate. But this is ridiculously close. The dorsal plates. <laughs> no, I'm not sure what they call them here. But they're like a fin. Alright. But the scaling on this thing is absolutely spectacular. The detail is crazy. Articulation on these are just like any other NECA figure. They do move in the shoulders as well as the elbows and your hands. The torso in itself, it does move up and down as you can see, okay? Especially in the legs here. So move that in so you can see the detail. The colored uh, distinctions on this are very cool. You got light shades of green, a little bit of lime, and some dark. Blends well with the water. Now the feet are coolest, are the coolest aspects about this. That is cool looking. Again, most NECA figures, if you get the officially, not the cloth um, NECA figures, but the actual figures, they come with holes in the bottom. So you can use them for your uh, NECA stands. And that's what I always do 9 times out of 10. If they don't stand on their own, they got to stand underneath them. So they don't fall off the shelf. So that is key. The legs, they do bend at the knees. Okay, it's a little stiff because it's new, but it does bend at the knees. Even they swivel at the hips too, see? Alright. 
That is very cool looking. Alright. I might keep that head on it because it does look good. It looks more traditional to the creature in itself. And put the other stuff away, that's all. And anyway, that is my creature from the Black Lagoon. Now, if you guys want to know anything about the creature from the Black Lagoon and figures, go to John Tagmeyer's uh, YouTube channel. It is called The Bionic Vampire. Go ahead and check it out. I'm going to put a link down below so you can check it out. He has an ungodly, a huge collection of the Gill Man because he's a big fan. I think that's his favorite creature, hands down. Uh, then again, it could be uh, the alien, uh, the xenomorphs, and Godzilla. They're up there in the top three. But this guy here, he's got a bunch of um, figures. You want to know anything about that? That's the man to go to if you want any kind of knowledge. So I will definitely leave a link down below so you can check out his channel, okay? But anyway, this is a very cool looking figure. Alright, now the hands are just like the other ones. They're wide open, okay? He's like, yeah, what's up? I love the, how big the hands are. They're fucking cool as shit. Alright, look at that. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I will be working on another mask review. It's not a um, latex mask, but it is a vacuum form mask based on the Frankenstein monster, the Boris Karloff version. That one's coming up next. But in the meantime, each and every one of you have yourselves a good day.